Hello, this is John Piper with the weekend video clip and it's Saturday the 4th of April. Um, we'll start with the Dow this morning. Um, basically from the low around 18,200 we've seen a five part advance followed by a three part decline. Um, the retracement was between 38.2% there and 50% here. Um, so we might have seen all we need to see in a full ABC um, but we're just going sideways. Let's have a look at the uh, shorter term action. So what we're seeing currently is an ABC, A, B, C, uh, A, B, C in a, well, relatively tight range for markets seen recently, but a fairly wide range for markets in their normal condition. Um, I mean, it could be building a base here that we're going to see another rally up. Uh, I guess that's probably my favourite app. If we're going to see an ABC off the low, then 25,000 odd remains a target where this would be an A wave, B wave, and a C wave, or approximately at that sort of level, 25,000, 25,100, um, before the next leg. I think the next leg down looks, looks very like the way things are going, and the virus is not abating. It's very hard to get an angle on this virus because you hear one bit of news one day, the next day it seems to be contradicted. Um, I mean, for example, there's a video going around about. Uh, people in intensive care in their 50s or even less than 50s, uh, not the 60s plus we've been hearing about. And especially everything you look at, the same thing sort of applies, um, that, that every aspect seems to be denied the next day, which uh, isn't terribly helpful really. And lockdowns meanwhile continue. Um, businesses shrivel and die. Uh, and uh, it's all pretty gloomy. Right, the DAX never saw a fifth wave, so there's like an ABC. Followed by an A, B, C, so another leg up to around maybe 12,000 or thereabouts um, to complete an ABC, and then the next leg down coming in. I think the most likely outcome. There. And the same goes a FTSE, a very feeble A wave, very corrective formation anyway, uh, about 800 points thereabouts. Um, a pullback, and a B wave, so another 800 points takes up to around uh, 6,200 around this level here approximately so there's a case for a good a good move in the next week or two um, but I don't think it's going to have any legs really I think it would just be a correction before we go down more the level's about 6.3 so not 6.2 on this C wave that, that's where C equals A doesn't mean that, 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 that's what the move will do well that's quite a, norm, a normative uh, relation oh, well, gold is seen as 38.2% retracement of this decline um, sorry, of this rally here. Um, so I guess this could be a new impulse of action starting up. Not a very encouraging pattern with the ABC here, but uh, everything looks good for gold at the moment. Um, certainly it's in demand. Um, people have, apparently banks have failed to deliver on, on their commitments on gold, which uh, shows a shortage. Uh, bullion companies aren't uh, producing very much, so I guess they're not waiting for better prices. Um, but anyway, uh, the, I say the problem is ABC here, which is a question mark. Uh, we do appear to have a reasonable rally here. Well, it could be a B wave, so watch out for a possible C wave decline. Um, so I've got to keep stops fairly tight on the long position at the moment. So looking good with a clear five waves up. It's nice and uh, simple. Uh, a, <laughs> just going sideways really. So we're just, just falling asleep, I guess. But looking positive in the sense we've got a decent uptrend followed by this correction which is uh, all it can be really my right, bitcoin um just bitcoin got the rising wage pattern we discussed that before that would be a wave one followed by an abc possible wave two then got a one a two this is all a bit dither at the moment um it could be where part of wave three but uh, not confirmed we have made new highs above here which is something so i think the uptrend has resumed but um, we're not out of the woods yet. So although it looks encouraging, I think we need a bit more development before this can be confirmed. Um, well, a fairly short report for a change. Uh, not a huge amount happening right now, I guess. Uh, things seem to be calming. Well, maybe just pausing for breath is perhaps the uh, um, correct analogy. Um, anyway, have a great uh, weekend. Thanks for listening and bye for now.